Holy flashback to 1983, Batman. Back when I was in high school, one of my best friends, Brad Parliament, had a PE-175 just like this one, and I had a Yamaha MX-175, and I was kind of having flashbacks riding around on this, what it was like. We used to throw our bikes in the back of his pickup truck, go to East Hartford to the sand pits, ride them down a rail trail. We'd go get a couple of Snickers bars and a couple of Cokes and uh, with all the sugar and get all hopped up on sugar and ride for hours. These things are such fun, reliable machines to ride off-road. Uh, and this one is a low-hour, oh, it's a, 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 a low-use a low survivor that uh, my friend Jay out of Virginia, who had a collection of 33 bikes that we purchased, sold us this along with a bunch of other really nice bikes. And um, it's been completely gone through. It was taken right down to the frame. You can see the frame has been given a complete uh, refinishing with powder coating. The um, wheels are, have new Michelin tires on them, Michelin competition cross, front tire, top of the line tire. The fork aluminum has been uh, polished. It has new fork boots, new front fender. That's the original headlight and amazingly it works, which is pretty remarkable. Um, normally they wouldn't last that long under off-road abuse. Still has the caps for the top of the forks. Uh, brand new set of Renthal, blue anodized bars and crossbar pad, uh, new pro grip grips, new, new uh, brake lever, new clutch lever, new clutch cable. Um, the bike came to us with, with uh, needing graphics. These graphics don't exist anymore. You can't order these anywhere. So Christy, my honey Christy, Steiger Designs, she, uh, I can't tell you how much work it is. We had to bring the tank home and she actually makes a template of the tank, somehow transposes it onto the computer and then creates the graphics and then sends them out and have, them, have it, has it printed. But there's, there's probably four to six hours labor just in the, the creation of the graphics. Um, so uh, new seat cover, New side panels, new rear fender, new tool pouch, new graphics on the on the uh, uh, blue graphics to uh, match all the other blue stuff on the bike. Original rim has a, a, a new Michelin competition cross rear tire. The swing arm's been sanded, 320, 600, 800 grit, and polished with three levels of polish. Uh, all the bearings in the ASN are as new. There's no play whatsoever uh, in the wheel bearings, the, the swing arm bearings. The uh, chain and sprockets are new. Uh, you can see the pe original peg is nice and straight. Normally, they'd all get, get bent out, and the, the brake levers, like like new, the, the, the Kickstarter was polished. Um, I think this is an NOS Kickstarter. I'm 99% sure it's a new Kickstarter. Uh, there's no evidence of any damage on it anywhere, and we polished it like chrome. The original factory exhaust system is in excellent condition, um, in, in completely intact, as is the engine cases and cylinder and, and, and everything else. Um, coming around this side of the bike... You can see, again, the swing arm has been polished beautifully, which is no small task. It's a lot of work to do that. We did that here ourselves in our shop. Uh, the new chain and sprockets are, are, are evident. The uh, new rear brake pads are evident. They're adjusted all the way out. Has the original uh, Takasago uh, Japan 11 of 81, uh, original 1982 rims. Uh, this is the 82 PE 175, same one Brad had. Uh, it has a kickstand, which is a rare commodity. Most of the times those are taken off in competition. You're not allowed to use them. You can see the shifter looks to be in brand new condition. The engine case cover, the counter shaft sprocket cover. Usually the trains would fall off and damage everything. And, and very rarely do you find them like this. Has the origin has a new um, chain slider uh, and a new uh, chain slider back here in the chain guide. And even the chain guide was polished. Beautiful piece. Original factory silencer. All the hardware is new on, on the... Uh, for the plastics and everything. The engine's been rebuilt. You can see the engine cases have been repainted. The carbs have been rebuilt. It has a new air filter on the original mint air box. The base gasket and head ga gasket are new, as is the piston and rings. Uh, the exhaust gasket, the exhaust hardware is new. It has exhaust, new exhaust sealant, uh, new spark plug cap and plug. Uh, bike's been thoroughly gone through, top to bottom. Uh, the frame rails are in excellent condition. Uh, these are these engine protectors on the side right here did their job it's got a, a couple dings in this one over here but the actual frame rails are, are the main frame rails are pristine and not a ding in them because they have these little protectors like a, a an outrigger protector from the factory and that, that did its job so original motor mounts are, are mint uh, again the fork lowers are polished um ask yourself if you bought a bike to a shop and said hey take my pe 175 down to the frame uh redo the the tires and wheels and wheel bearings and brake pads front and rear rebuild the the uh, entire bike, all new bearings, rebuild the engine, new piston and rings, new plastics and graphics. What would you be looking at? Well, you'd be looking at, I can tell you straight up, 
uh, at least at least 50 hours labor minimum to, to do a frame off on a bike um, and then all the parts on top of that it you, you would spend more than the bike is probably worth you could easily drop you know five grand on labor plus plus the parts so you could easily drop seven eight thousand doing a frame off restoration on one of these most people don't do that most people do it themselves a uh, little lipstick on a pig uh, they put new plastics and graphics and you know paint the frame rails or something like that but to have one done like this taken right taken down to the frame engine out all the components out redoing the frame and putting all new running gear and uh you know cleaning and polishing all the original cycle parts it's it's a lot of work man um i have a complete write-up in in the ebay ad it is for sale if you're interested give us a call 860-454-7024 it's definitely a time machine if you had one of these back then it's like it's it, it's i love riding bikes from my childhood because it, it just brings me back to that time you can see it's got a brand new inline fuel filter and new fuel lines uh the, the uh, attention to detail on it is excellent everything everything's done a uh, new, new fuel drain lines just a beautiful piece the shifter is uh, in brand new condition in aluminum on that's been polished look at the look at the, the peg the peg and the the kickstand are are indicators this wasn't smashed through the rocks or, or jumped over jumps like me and brad did to our bikes it's just been carefully um uh, carefully preserved over the years for well 40 years this bike's 41 years old so um to find any 41 year old especially a trail bike because they're usually ridden a lot more because they're fun you get on it's not like a motocross bike that beats the crap out of you. It's, it's smooth. They're pretty quiet with a long uh, expansion chamber on it. It has a headlight that works so you could ride it at night. Um, just a lot of fun to ride. Because of that, most of them got a shitload of, 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 of miles put on them, and they're ridden to the point they're not economically repairable. Now and then, one skips the ides of time and, and is not beaten a, to a pulp like Brad's and my bikes were, and they've been long since been in the junkyard. Um, this one was owned by a collector with 40 motorcycles. He never rode it. It was just a, just a, one of his trophy bikes of the 33 that we bought from him. So um, we've taken it to the next level and it's ready for a new home. If you have any interest in it, call Junior 860, my son Junior 860-454-7024. Either him or my daughter, daughter Jordan or Billy will answer the phone and we'll take good care of you. We offer financing in house so we can ship this bike anywhere in the country. Um, we can store it here for you, whatever you want to do. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks for watching. God bless Suzuki and God bless America. They're absolutely bullet bulletproof diamonds. Run forever. This one, this one's a keeper. A fun machine. America, y'all know the deal.